Hello folks, hope you're having a great day today. Hey, today I want to take a look at the uh, horror short story by Ambrose Beers called Some Suitable Surroundings. Uh, it's an early haunted house story. It came out before a lot of other sort of haunted house stories um, and uh, the sort of codified horror. Um, it came out during the early stages. Um, Ambrose Beers will write about haunted houses quite a bit. Um, with he, he wrote about a short story called Some Haunted Houses where he has a number of, of vignettes that are as part of that short story that have indi individual tales of different haunted houses. I've reviewed for you some haunted houses stuff already. Um, I, I, I did Shirley Jackson's The Haunting of Hill House uh, for you. It's up on my shelf now. Um, but, well, but now I want to turn to uh, you know some suitable surroundings, uh, which I think sets the stage for a lot of sort of um, haunted house works to follow. It has a number of sort of elements to it. Um, and one of the things that Ambrose Bierce has done with this short story, and this is very Ambrose Bierce-ish, is that he has taken the story, that's that a typical story, and he plays with the form of the story in order to create something more interesting. It's kind of like uh, an episode of Coupling from the the, the BBC show, uh, where um, the the guy who created it would often play with the genre of a sitcom by having different things happening, uh, or or uh, or the or the formula of the, uh, of, of telling it uh, and the storytelling moment. So he might have, uh, for example, in one scene, he might have a character who's trying to speak to somebody who doesn't speak English, and so our main character speaking English, and she's speaking you know Hebrew back to him, and then you'll rewind it, and she'll be speaking English to him, and he'll be speaking a made-up language to her. So you kind of see the scene from both sides of things, that sort of thing, um, which plays with the form. Uh, of, of, of it. And, and Amber Spears is somebody who loves playing with the form of various things as a part of this. So we'll take a look at some suitable surroundings. Um, so you're going to start with your main character um, and your main character is going to be involved um, it's only a couple paragraphs in the first section. Uh, the first section is going to talk about a knight at this house that has this dark reputation. Um, and so your main character is going to be in it. Um, and you're going to take a kind of a deep dive into what's happening um, and some unusual things that are happening. Uh, he has challenged himself and his friends have sort of given him a bet. Can you st stay the night? He's there. He's at night. Um, something happens that really disturbs him and he'll flee out. That's kind of the end of the night. Then what you're going to do um, is you're going to move to previous sections. So, for example, here I'll show you in this book. You can see the night is here. Um, and like I just said, it's just a couple paragraphs long. It ends here. Um, and then you're moving on to the day before. Um, and then you're going to have the day before. It's going to tell you kind of what happened to lead up to this, uh, what's happening to kind of set the scene. After the day before, you're going to go to the next day, um, and you're going to follow up with that. Then after seeing kind of after the prelude and then the afterlude, you're going to finish up with what he wrote, what he was, what he personally experienced, and then finally you're going to finish with a newspaper article about what happened uh, from an objective standpoint. So there are five separate things that are a part of this short story. The first part that goes over the night, then the, then you have the day after. Uh, I'm sorry, the prelude, uh, the day before, then the day after, um, then what he wrote in his journal, um, and then finally what actually happened according to uh, a snippet in a, uh, in a newspaper article. So those are five different sort of sections of the story. Now the story is only seven pages long. Each of them takes between one and two pages long, um, and the article at the end is only a paragraph. So um, they'll they'll give you different sort of things that are happening and different ways of sort of seeing the piece, interpreting it, uh, and finding out with it. But this sort of way of playing with the form is very Ambrose Bierce-ish. Um, this is something he'll do quite a lot in his works. Um, he's a very popular guy. Um, he's done a lot of these sort of works that are out there. Uh, but there you are. It's called Some Suitable Surroundings. It's very much a sort of haunted house. Uh, this house has a dark reputation. Challenge to go go into it. Will What will actually happen? Will its reputation hold steady? Or will it be something else uh, and that's happening? Is it actually haunted or is it something else that's happening with our character? Um, so there you are. I'll leave you to it. Have you read this or anything else by Ambrose Bierce? Are you familiar with it? Um, if, if you haven't, feel free to check it out. I'll give you a link to it below. Um, it, uh, most of Ambrose Bierce's stuff, because it was written in the 1800s, um, is no longer uh, uh, for sale, uh, for, for owned by somebody who has an IP. So it's all free online. I'll try to find you a link somewhere for like Project Gutenberg. And then I'll also give you an Amazon link if you're like me and you want to read it like in like hard form rather than just reading it online for free. I'll link you to it 
uh, um, in, in the comments below. And then finally, hey, if you watch this all the way to the end, I, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day. We all have such busy days, busy lives. I want to thank you for taking some time out of your day. And if you like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be so many more reviews of these to follow in my three fields that this, that this channel focuses on, on science fiction, fantasy, and horror. So there you are. Thank you so much for your time. You have a great day. Bye-bye.